This is a short video to show how to set up the PEC system. The PEC system comes with two cases. The first one comes with the instrument, the PEC battery, the PEC battery charger. The second case comes with a probe lead, a spare PEC battery, four different probes, the battery for the PC and its charger, and different shims. The PEC system comes with four different probes. P1, the small one. P2, the medium one. P3, the large one. And P4, the extra large. Four different probes are for different lift of, lift of ranges. The P1 is for a lift of range from zero to 20 millimeters. P2 is for a lift of range from 20 to 50 millimeters. P3 from 50 to 125 millimeters. And P4 for a range of lift of from 125 to 250 millimeters. Okay, now we need to connect the probe to the instrument. We know that we can use probe 2 for this case. We have to connect it on the right way. There is a fin on the connector that needs to line up with the fin slot in here. After we need to rotate the connector until it, until it clicks. Now we have to insert a battery with these two slots on this side. Now we need to connect the probe and it's the same. The fin needs to line up with the slot and we can now turn on the instrument. There are two ways to start the PECT program. The first one is just to double click on the PECT shortcut or we can just click on this button and it will start autom automatically. Before starting the inspection, it's important to secure the cable and we can do that by placing it in here.
just because this is the most important part of the cable. To start an inspection, we need to click on menu, start a new inspection. We need to insert the client, in this case, Ether NDE, select the operator, Nelly, location, St. Albans, select the component. We can add a new component. Select. We can select the type of the component. In this case, it's an insulated pipe. Okay. The nominal wall thickness, it's eight millimeters. The outer diameter is 170. Millimeters. The insulation is 50 millimeters thick thick, sorry. There is no weather sheeting, no corrosion products. So we click OK and we can now in start the inspection. OK, now the system is telling us to collect the Pro P2, which is the medium one. It's already connected. We can click OK. And now it's saying to place the probe on a representative spot on the inspection object. Place the probe. It's important to keep the probe still. And we push the red button. Now we have to select a good normalization time. We have to locate the red and green line between the between the straight part of the signal that's a good part we click ok the repeatability needs to be um, within the three percent criterion in this case it's 0 0.41 so we can proceed to the inspection with the selected probe and number of current pulses with the medium probe And now take a measurement. We have to calibrate now. We can select the spot on the screen or we can use these buttons up and down. And we go to calibrate. We select the normalization time. Okay. We can select um, the first button, which is set to 100%, or oh, no. we can now set the wall thickness to 100%, or we can insert the actual wall thickness in millimeters or inches. In this case, let's just select 100%, and let's carry on to the second measurement. We know that we can we know that we can move to this next spot when the red light is off. It's off. Okay. In this case the third measurement is is showing 86 percent of 86 percent of wall thickness um, we need to validate this point because it's more than 10 percent of um, of the wall thickness and we can do that by selecting validate we have to do so we can validate now and see that both measurements are within 5%. So the measurement is repeatable. So we can now click OK. 
we can now create a report. We can select menu and create a report. It's telling me the place where the file is and if I want to save it on a memory stick let's plug the memory stick in and select yes this is the report we want to save that's it